Today we're learning the factor theorem. Suppose P is a non-zero polynomial. The real number C is a zero of P if and only if X minus C is a factor of P of X. This means that if C is a zero of P, then P of C is equal to zero. Here are the three examples. Use the factor theorem to identify whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second or not. Write yes or no. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Question number 1. f of x is equal to 3x to the 4th plus 7x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 4 divided by d of x is equal to x plus 2. Our divisor here is x plus 2, so this means our c value is the opposite of plus 2, which is negative 2. To determine if x plus 2 is a factor, we need to evaluate f of c, which is f of negative 2. If the remainder is 0, this means x plus 2 is a factor. So let's substitute negative 2 into the f of x. We have 3 times negative 2 to the 4th power plus 7 times negative 2 to the third, plus 3 times negative 2 square, minus the negative 2, minus 4. Simplifying this, negative 2 to the fourth is 16, 16 times 3, we have 48. Now we need to simplify negative 2 to the third, that's negative 8, negative 8 times 7 is negative 56. Simplifying negative 2 square, that's positive 4, Positive 4 times 3, we have plus 12. Minus negative 2 is plus 2, and we have minus 4. Simplifying this from left to right, 48 minus 56 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 12 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. So the value of f of negative 2 is equal to 2. Since the value is not equal to 0, this means that x plus 2 is not a factor of f of x. Number 2. f of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 3. Our d of x is x minus 1. Since our divisor is x minus 1, what do you think is the c value? The c value is the opposite of negative 1 and that is positive 1. To determine if x minus 1 is a factor, we need to evaluate f of c, and in this case, f of 1. So now let's plug in 1 into our f of x. We have 4 times 1 to the third, minus 2 times 1 square, plus 1 minus 3. Simplifying this, 1 to the third is 1, times 4 we have 4. Next, 1 square is 1, times negative 2 is minus 2. Then we have plus 1 minus 3. Simplifying this from left to right, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. So our f of 1 is equal to 0. Since the remainder is 0, this means that x minus 1 is a factor of our f of x. Number 3, f of x is equal to 2x cubed minus x squared minus 6x minus 1, and d of x is equal to x plus 1. What is our c for number 3? Our c value here is negative 1, the opposite of plus 1. And to determine whether x plus 1 is a factor of f of x, we need to evaluate f of c. In this case, we have f of negative 1. So now let's plug in negative 1 into the f of x. We have 2 times negative 1 to the third minus negative 1 to the second power minus 6 times negative 1, and minus 1. Simplifying this, negative 1 to the third is negative 1, times 2, we have negative 2. Then we have negative 1 square, it's positive 1, so we have minus that positive 1. 
Next, negative 6 times negative 1 is plus 6, and we have minus 1. Simplifying this from left to right, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, negative 3 plus 6 is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2. So our f of negative 1 is 2. And since the remainder is not 0, this means that x plus 1 is not a factor of f of x. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.